Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jason Fisher, bringing back to you another kind of uh, top countdown. What the? Let me start all over again. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jason Fisher, bringing back to you another countdown video. Today we're doing my top five. You counted it one, two, three, four. I got all my fingers. Five favorite types in all of Pokemon, uh, whether it be the TCG, the video game, the the anime. Actually, I haven't watched the anime since like uh, the end of Johto. I only watched a little bit of Hoenn. Uh, I watched Destiny Deoxys, and I think, uh, I saw, like, the first half of the, uh, the Lottie movie, the Latios and Latios movie, um, but then again, again, that was, like, way back when I was a kid, uh, nowadays, I, I don't, I don't personally watch the Pokemon anime, that's just my opinion, okay, spoilers, there's, there's opinions in this video, uh, opinions, I like, I like how when I do that, it's, uh, the, <laughs> the, the video looks weird, so, right away, let's go get, jump into it with number five, Number five on the countdown. We got dragons. Personally, um, dragons, I think, are the... One of the more... I, I Okay, look. Like, you got, like, Pokemon, like, Salamence, all that. Flygon, uh, Garchomp, uh, even Dreadgon. Dreadgon's actually pretty uh, under, uh, underappreciated. But it's like, everybody's like, oh, they're so overpowered, they're, they're, they're badass. It's like, well, they're, they're, a lot of dragon types are four times weak to, uh, Ice Beam. And Ice Beam's almost on every water type ever. Like, I think, I don't think I've ever seen a Vaporeon in a competitive Wi-Fi match not carry Ice Beam. I just, I don't, I think I've ever seen it, personally. And this is just my opinion as well, um, from personal experiences. So, in my opinion, really, dragons, despite Flygon being my channel mascot and the, the, the poster boy, I, even though I haven't really done anything with Flygon yet on the channel, um, it, yeah, it makes, it definitely makes top five, it's, it just broke it, um, and you'll see why, um, there was, because there was a toss-up between, uh, five and six, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do five. Uh, six is the honorable, honorable mention, by the way. Next up, we got Ground at number four, we can count them four. Um, again, going along with Flygon, Ground Types. Ground Type is like one of my favorites to use, um, even though it is paired up with Rock a lot, which is a kind of an honorable seventh mention. But at the same time, like over the course couple of uh, last couple of weeks or whatever, I've been training up a competitive Golem up to level 100, and I love this Golem. I really do. This Golem is awesome. Um, so really, th this Golem. Um, that I have, it's a kind of an explosion set almost, where it's a sturdy weakness policy. You go for rock polish the first turn, you get the speed buff, the attack buff from the weakness policy, your sturdy pops, and then if you want to, depending on your situation, you can either go earthquake, rock slide, or explosion, which, let's be honest, he's gonna go, for, he's gonna go boom. But, it's just, it's one of those deals where, oh, my chair's squeaking again. Ground, it's such a good utility type. It really is. It sucks that it's paired up with rock a lot, and it gets kind of that, like, uh, you just overlook it, because, oh, it's four times a week to water. I mean, that's how you get the weakness policy to pop, because you got sturdy. Um, next up on our list, we got water, uh, the, the titular water types. Again, like, being the most pop, no, not the most popular, being the most common type, there's got to be, like, a lot of fa favorites out there. Again, I got two different Jellicents that I have. I have a male Jellicent, a female Jellicent. One has Water Absorb, the other has Cursed Body, I believe it is. And it's just running either one. They're, they're the same moveset, same EV spreads. Actually, no, I take that back. They're not the same EV spread. They're, they're different by, like, four stats. It's, it's, it's whatever. But, 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 it's the ability that matters. It really, really, really does. So, um, you got Jellicent, you got Vaporeon, uh, I love Tentacruel. I haven't bred a, uh, Tentacruel yet, but I want to. I'm just stuck on what nature I should give it, or what ability, or, I don't know, you can run almost any kind of competitive, uh, Tentacruel that you want. One of my all-time favorite water types, Tentacruel. Now, I'm just gonna make the water list, I gotta do the fire list right after this. Um... Really, just, it's, there, there's no shortage of water types. I mean, even Bibberable. Bibberable, honestly, can run rampant in, um, Ubers if it really wanted it to, and I can explain why, um, later. But, as much as people talk smack about Bibberable, it, it, uh, it's a force to be reckoned with, I swear. It's, it may be written off as, like, a, like, the Generation 4's Rattata, but it's not, man, it's not. Look at, uh, Diggersby, another ground type. <laughs> that was the last spot, though. 
Um, up next, and for the longest time, I'm going to say this right now, number two for the longest time was my number one, until number one beat it out. Number two is electric. Number number two. Number two is my is electric. Now, almost, Jolteon almost was my channel mascot, and... Again, I gotta stick by that, man. Jolteon is my all-time absolute top of the freaking list electric type. When I get to the the electric video, uh, it's going to be a spoiler. So it's basically my ten through two slot. If you're gonna watch that, that is. Um, no, but yeah, electric for the longest time was my absolute favorite type up until about Generation Five uh, when I was playing through Black and White. Um, and there, that's again, that's a, that's a hint of what my number one slot is. But for the longest time, Electric was my favorite, and I think one of the reasons why it fell off that pedestal, kind of like face planted onto the second place pedestal, was just Electric's not that good competitively. Like you got water and flying. That's about it. And again, for flying, you just carry like ice beam, you know. And if you want to get rid of a water type, there's you know ground. No, 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 there's, there's grass, you know, solar beams getting more and more popular, uh, thanks to drought. Drought, I'm going to tell you right now, drought nine tails, OP as hell. Um, but it's one of those deals where electric, for me, it was just, it was just one of the best types ever, in my opinion. I fell in love with Jolteon, just like on an emotional level, I love Jolteon. But, had it not been for my number one pick, um, yeah. My number one pick for my favorite type in the entire game is Bug. Now, before you turn off the video, before you turn off the video, Bug types are the definition of trolls, okay? You look up in the Webster's Dictionary, you'll see, like, a, like a Dust Ox or something like that. Dust Ox. I just got my Dust Ox up to level 100. And I love Dust Ox with a fiery passion, okay? If Dust Ox can get fiery dance, that'd be freaking awesome. But, that's not why Dust Talks are at the top of my list. It's just, it's one of those Pokemon that I fell in love with, okay? You get Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, Iron Defense, and uh, Quiver Dance. I don't screw with Silver Wind, because it doesn't have that much PP, and you're not guaranteed to get that boost. But, 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 I want Mega Dust Talks either in Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon, probably Moon, um, I want it to have either Technician for the ability for Mega Mega Dust Talks. That's if they're going to even continue with Megas. I think Megas are just going to be like a 6th gen thing, I think. Don't quote me on that. Either Serene Grace or Technician. One of the two. Because it's, it's built around uh, Silverwind. I'll probably have to use a hard scale on it, but that's going to be my problem, not yours. You go... Technician, because it's, it's under 60 base power for Silverwind, and then there's a possibility to get the boost. Or, if you have Serene Grace, that possibility for the boost just goes through the roof. Then you don't even have to run Quiver Dance, okay? So it's one of those deals where, like, I either want Technician or I want Serene Grace for the ability of uh, Mega Dust Talks. Like, you also, you got Galvantula. Again, it's a bug electric. It's why, you know, 5th Gen kind of knocked me off uh, electric types. Um, Galvantula, Dust Talks, Heracross... Um, what's another one that's, uh, Vol Volcarona. Oh my god, I fell in love with Volcarona. Volcarona is freaking awesome. Okay? It's just, you got one of those deals where bugs are so... Everybody writes them off as the weakest type in the entire game. They are overpowered as hell, and they could be so trolly. If Pachirisu can take first place at Pokemon Worlds, I want to see a Dust Talks at Pokemon Worlds, and I want to see it wreck havoc. That might actually be me. I want to go to World so bad and bring my dust talks. I will do it. Okay? I read that thing legit. I did everything. I did the, the EV spreads. I did the move spreads. Everything about that dust talks is super legit. And it's one of the only Pokemon that I have that I didn't tamper with. And then with, before everybody gets on my case about that, what I say about is um... Jeez, I'm going to throw up a bit. I don't know why. Um... The only thing I really bust out my power save for is either to clone a Pokemon or change his Pokeball. Now, I'm super OCD. Jeez, man, I don't know what's wrong with me. I gotta go sit down or something after this. I am sitting down, actually. Um, 
Like, let's say, because the, the golem that I have right now that I just got to level 100 is in a heavy ball. And I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of screwing around with fourth gen migration, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to breed the Geodude, I'm going to have all of its IVs set and all that, like, I'm going to do that legit, but I'm going to, I'm going to gen the, 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 the heavy ball. Okay, that's the only thing I screwed with on my golem. But other than that, it's super legit. Um, I didn't touch anything on the dust ox, by the way. So, bug types wreck havoc. Pokemon Worlds t 2016. I want to see. I want to see uh, dust ox at Worlds. I want to do that so bad. Like you don't even know. Either 2016 or 2017, Mega Dust ox at Worlds. Hashtag. <laughs> Um, I keep bumping the mic. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah. So like, like I said, that's that's my number one slot. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next video when I do my top ten favorite fire types. Oh, an honorable mention is fire at six. Really, the only fire type that I really, 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 really I can't say it enough really like is Charizard. Not saying that oh, it's not gonna be a top ten list. It's going to be a top one. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll come up with ten fire types that I actually really like. It has to be Pokemon that I've used, and it has to be Pokemon that I like. So there easily is ten fire types that I will put on this list. But the one Pokemon does not a slot make on a top five list. So that's why I left uh, fire off this top five list. Is just because Charizard's so awesome. I love Charizard. Um... Like I said, let's get up on out of here. I'm going to go, I'm going to go make a, another list and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.